Hey yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Nick Che coming back with another video. Yes, we have switched up the set a little bit. We wanted to try something new on the channel, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Today we are talking about how I stay motivated in college. I know this is a stressful topic for myself to cover because I'm always constantly trying to figure out how I'm staying motivated, how I'm finding inspiration to succeed not only academically, but also creatively as well, because you guys know that's a huge important factor of my workflow. First off, I want to give a quick shout out to the homies over at Homeland LA. They sent over this shirt it says fighting for more asian representation and honestly it's so fire i absolutely love this shirt they also have a ton of other products that are absolutely fire they didn't pay me to say any of this i just really support the brand and the message that they're promoting so i'll have them linked down below make sure to go check them out guys the shirt is literally so fire i love it but let's just jump into it i think the biggest thing to stay motivated and have inspiration in college is to set goals for yourself now this is a huge thing for any college student so that you always have something to be working towards you know as students it's easy to get caught up in the routine of things that you never really take the time to set goals for yourself that you have things to complete and have things to work towards. I think a good way to set this up is to do either daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, or even semesterly goals. And for me, setting those out at the beginning of the semester, at the beginning of every month, just gives me a clear outline of the exact things that I need to accomplish so that I'm just way more efficient with my time. And anytime I have a few hours laying around where I'm not doing anything, I can just pull up my goals list and see what I need to accomplish. So right now, obviously a big goal of mine is to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. This has been you know just a very long-term goal for me and something that i've been continuing to work to establish and work towards and fulfill that goal other goals are obviously academic maintaining a certain gpa making sure that you you know do well on your test having certain grades come out of your transcripts these are all tangible goals that you could easily work towards and if you put your mind to it and put in the hours that you can easily achieve if you just once again put in the work number two i think a big thing is to find inspiration because as a creative you're always going to be needing some kind of fuel and fire to motivate you to do more fulfilling work. Anytime I see a new Sam Calder or a JR Ali video, I'm constantly inspired by the work that they do, that it just pushes me to become a better artist and learn more techniques and push my creative potential that I wouldn't have if I didn't have this inspiration and motivation. Now, a mentality that I've kind of adopted is honestly to kind of see it as a competition. And if you don't find yourself competing against the other people in your field to do better than them and to outwork them or to put in more hours and do better things, then you know, you're setting yourself up for failure but if you see life through a competitive lens it's just going to give you a little bit more of an upper hand because you're always thinking in that game mentality now obviously everything in life isn't a competition so don't take that too close to heart but you know take some inspiration from the words that i'm saying and hopefully you guys are able to apply it to your own lives as well number three is that you need to take a step back and see the bigger picture not just as like a photography metaphor but in reality too like realize that college is just a few short years in your life and that if you don't find the motivation to do what you need to do right now then then realize it's not the end of the world because you have your entire life ahead of you that you can accomplish everything you need to and for me as someone who is constantly trying to be productive and do the most of my time there are days where i just need to take a step back relax watch netflix for a few hours and be unproductive and as much as i hate to do that and sit around it's good for obviously your mental health your physical health and everything really in college it's just easy to get caught up with stress and the anxiety of deadlines and papers and essays and things that you have to get done so you know just taking a step back taking a breather making sure that you're you know putting yourself first is a big priority that i think every college student should maintain number four going off of that it's very important to take breaks especially when you've been going at things for hours on hand there's no point in trying to cram another few more hours after you've already been studying all day so you know take a break relax when you need to and once again just take time for yourself Finally, for me, number five is that, you know, it's easy to get caught up in a creative rut. Everyone gets to a point where you feel like you've already done everything you could. And for me, anytime I feel this lack of motivation, I just remind myself what the bigger picture is and go back to my goals list and really see what I can do to accomplish those in the most efficient way possible. And I know a lot of this may not seem tangible, but in reality, it very much is. Everything I've said in this video is stuff that is applicable to any single person, regardless of whatever stage in life you're at. You can always have goals. You can always find a way to be motivated and once again i understand i i've been there i know what it's like to just not have any motivation and not want to do things and you know feel like it's a waste of your time to be studying or doing busy work or doing stuff that isn't really applicable but a big metaphor that i've kind of adopted over the years is to do the thing and what that means is to do the thing of putting in the work doing the things that are hard doing things that are difficult and aren't going to be easy because at the end of the day in the long run that's what's going to make you a winner that's what's going to be able to help you overcome your obstacles because once you've been through the hard stuff the rest of it is a breeze as the great miley cyrus said it's a climb guys <laughs> 
Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed these quick tips on how to stay motivated in college, especially with the end of the semester coming near. I know a lot of you guys can just feel unmotivated and I hope that this was able to help you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know any other types of videos you guys wanna see. Subscribe for more videos and as always, don't stress, finesse.